Here's your farm and ranch report from the Montana Ag Network. And good afternoon, everybody. It's time for your farm and ranch news. Well, the NCBA, along with the Public Lands Council, the American Farm Bureau Federation, and even the Society for Range Management have introduced their support for a proposal that would reduce wild horse and burrow populations on our western rangelands. Now they say the proposal focuses on the congressional appropriations process and doesn't recommend any amendments to the Wild and Free Roaming Horses and Burrows Act. The proposal, if fully implemented, would increase the BLM's capacity to gather horses and burrows in those overpopulated areas, a minister population growth suppressant to healthy animals at gather, and increase use of long-term pasture-based holding for the older animals. In some other news today, the American Farm Bureau's Women's Leadership Program has announced a Women in Ag online survey that aims to gauge the goals, aspirations, achievements, and needs of those ladies who hold various roles in the American agricultural industry. They say all women who are farmers and ranchers, farm and ranch employees, employed in agricultural businesses, pursuing ag-related higher education, or supportive of agriculture in other ways are invited to participate in the survey at fb.org slash women. Respondents must reside in the U.S. and Farm Bureau membership, they say, is not required to partic participate. Participants, though, will be entered to receive one of five $100 thank you gift cards after the survey closes on June 21st. And the ongoing U.S. and European Union trade dispute has escalated, putting exports of lentils and chickpeas into a major market at risk. The news comes in response to the U.S. and EU Airbus Boeing dispute, covering approximately $11 billion in U.S. imports to the EU. However, the U.S. Dry Pea and Lentil Council's Tim McGreevy says, it's important to note that the current announcement isn't a new tariff, at least as of yet. So, you know, we have to reach out uh, to our administration, our elected officials, and say, look at this, is really hurting us. If, if, this, come, if this comes into play, uh, these uh, tariffs come into play uh, in our, you know, one of our largest markets uh, into the European Union, it could really have uh, serious effects on, on pulse farmers in the United States. Now, since this issue first arose in March of last year, the USA Dry Pea and Lentil Council has closely monitored its progress. The dry bean sector was actually the first to be affected last summer with a 25% tariff. Stay with us. We'll have more ag news right after this. Well, a prestigious award that celebrates voluntary conservation by ag producers and other landowners is coming to Montana. Montana is the latest state where Sand County Foundation will present the Leopold Conservation Award. Governor Steve Bullock's office, the Department of Agriculture, and the Montana Department of Natural Resources and Conservation's Rangeland Resources Committee will join the Sand County Foundation in presenting a $10,000 award later this year. Applications for the award are now being accepted. The application may be submitted uh, by the landowner himself or somebody else, and you can find all the information online. That does it from the Ag Desk. Have a great day.